This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by Domain.com. Now it is time for some extensions. Yes. Making it of, super easy. Instead of port 995, because we're not checking emails. Yeah, instead of <laughs> port 995. So first off, I need to reconnect on Putty to the DDK so server. Just you, as you've shown before. Yeah, because uh, I got disconnected. So I guess if you like just sit on it for long enough, it'll just that's, disconnect you. That's another thing that we're going to talk about when we uh, yeah. set up persistence and also configuring the SSH server so that uh, you don't basically drop. Oh, I yeah. see. Okay, we're going to so. learn about noops. Nice. Noops. All right, so the first one is called Switchy. It's a Chrome add-on that lets you switch between several proxies. Super easy. You can give each pro proxy a profile name, and you can do things like give it set up a switch rules on the next tab, which is great for the BBC iPlayer, or if you want to get to like some, what? What, what, what does the switch rules do? I don't get it. Oh, here, let me show you. OK, so this is my little icon for Switchy after I downloaded the add-on. And okay. then I went to Options, and it took me here. So from here, I go to Proxy Profiles, and I set up a proxy profile. Okay. And this is the same as the ddk.hack5.org. So you just set it as, you know, you give it a name. The same server. And then you give it the IP address and the port. Yeah, cool. so the same proxy, and I have, you know, my socks down here, for 8080, just like the other time I did So what it. are the switch rules, And I save though? it. And then I go over here, and I can enable these things called switch rules. So every time I go to hulu.com, I can have it go to localhost 8080 and use that proxy instead of a direct connection through the unsecured internet. I see where this comes into play. Yeah, BBC so. BBC iPlayer, I'm talking to you. Say I might be in England or not, and yeah. I want to get on the BBC iPlayer. But we actually couldn't because you have to pay your TV tax for that. Exactly. Right. So, you know, and just like I them can't do watching that. Hulu, you know, they can't. But. SSH into the United States to get Hulu. That yeah, like say uh, some of our English viewers, they probably have proxies in England and mm -hmm. they could use that proxy to get to the BBC iPlayer while everything else goes out into the wilderness. Ooh, yeah. wilderness, like Big Pond. AU. Like Big Pond. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to, anyway. <laughs> Victorian Bidas for everyone. And then there's this thing called the general settings, mm -hmm. and this is uh, a thing called Quick Switch, which will let you switch between a direct connection and your proxy. So okay, so just so TV. not on a site-by-site -site basis, but just you know blanket the whole web experience. Yeah, exactly. Cool. So I actually ran into a slight problem earlier when I was messing around with it. I uh, I got disconnected from my my server connection, my uh, proxy server. Mm -hmm. So I went over here. just hit enter a few times. And it was on at the time. You can see that the world is highlighted. When you turn it off, it goes gray. So it was on, and I tried to go to Google, and it wouldn't go because it was disconnected. And I was like, oh, God, yeah, what's we'll, wrong? We'll what get happened? into maintaining so, persistent. But yeah. Yeah, yeah I, had, I had a moment where I was just like, oh, crap. Well, that sounds a lot nicer than having to go into, what is it, wrench, and then tools and settings, yeah, so and then they go make into it network under the hood. Yeah, they make it a lot easier. A lot easier. And then there's one similar to it for Firefox as well. So this one is called Foxy Proxy. Foxy Proxy. Oh, well, that's IP Chicken. That's not what I'm talking about. But this is Foxy Proxy. Ta -ta! You can download it from their extensions website, their add ons. So it's an extension for Firefox that lets you basically manage your proxies. This one lets you set up several proxies and then right click to choose which one you want to use. Also, this one as well is super easy to use. So I go over here to the little fox, which mm -hmm. is very hard to see, but okay. that is a fox. And then you go down here to options, and you can set up each one and give each one a color. Obviously, I mean mine pink <laughs> or purple. Well, kind of matches my shirt. Oh, no. <laughs> nice. So I can uh, double click on this, and oh. I go into proxy details, and that's where I do the manual configuration. So I put in host or IP address, port 8080 again. Socks version 5, clicked OK. And, and then, then I see that you can set up the rules over, what is it, uh, pattern uh, subscriptions. Oh, so like you so could, you could like subscribe to like different, different areas. Yeah, so these are subscriptions. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a bunch of global settings. You can go through these this if you like. This is just so much more intense yeah. than just manually switching back and forth. You it's know what a whole I, bunch of crazy information. I'll be honest, you know what I do? I just run Chrome as um, <laughs> as using a direct connection, and then my Firefox is always set to use uh, localhost 8080. Well, so I that do if that. I want to be, <laughs> you know, I know, but I don't use any extensions because I just, I, just, I, just I, I think of it like Firefox is my secure browser and Chrome is my insecure browser. 
I know. That's horrible. I know it's a totally lazy way to do that, but I'll, I'll have to start adopting these or something. Yeah, I mean, they're I, really I'm not easy keen to on, use. You I, just right click. And... I like it for the ease of use. I'm not keen on uh, extensions regardless mm -hmm. because, I mean, I get it. You know, they're open source, they're supposedly vetted, but they have. You know, yeah, for something that's supposed to be perfecting your so you privacy, kinda have to, you kind of have to trust them. Because, mm -hmm. like, when I when I download the extension for Chrome, it basically said, "No, I can see all your content on your computer," and I was just like, yeah, "Well, it'll, it'll see where you're going on the web, and, and that's yeah. the whole reason why you might be using a proxy is yeah. for you know some sort of privacy, security. anonymity, mm -hmm. security, all of those things." And so, I don't know. I think those are great. I'm going to stick to just using two web browsers. I'd like to hear what you guys think because obviously there's so Me much too. to this topic. Now, coming up next uh, in in the following weeks, actually, we're going to be setting up SSH uh, key pairs or symmetric keys on both Windows and Yay. Linux so that we don't have to type in our password and actually make it properly secure. Yes. Uh, we're going to be setting up servers on Linux as well as Windows. We haven't forgotten about you guys, as well as maintaining persistence so it doesn't fail, something fault tolerant. Uh, and as well as some other widgets and goodies and awesome fun stuff. And this is going to lead into like GPG, VPNs, peer-to-peer, so -peer, uh, distributed good stuff. And Every, um, all the deliciousness. Yeah, I'm basically. so glad that we have this new table. Yeah, and, me too. This is yeah, kind of awesome. It's fun. So paint this is a different, on everything. I know. This is a <laughs> different kind of... This is fun. I, I, in fact, actually, I think we did this uh, about a year and a half ago. But this, we yeah. weren't here then, and this is kind of fun. So let us know what you think. Um, but we're going to take a quick break before we find out. Yes, we're going to take a quick break, and then when we get back, it's trivia and the Technolest photo of the week. I really couldn't be happier telling you guys we are now in our 11th season, coming in on seven years, and get this, Domain.com has been sponsoring us for three of them. They are our favorite domain registrar, and the truth is we really couldn't be happier with them. Hack5.org is running on them, our forms are running on them, hell, even the virtual private server that is running our SOX5 proxy, it's with them. You can find new domains, add new domains to your portfolio, manage all of your company's domains, even do a little hacking all over at Domain.com. You know, if you need a website, just for simple hosting, they've got WordPress and Joomla installers that are like super simple to get started with. And get this, the ladies, oh yeah, the women of Domain.com. Huge fans of Hack5, I'm not kidding. In fact, if you tweet at Domain.com's Twitter and let them know that you're a friend of Hack5, you may get lucky enough to send you a cool Domain.com t-shirt. I'm just saying, you too could be a Domain superhero. Don't forget, when you're at Domain.com, buying domain names or transferring existing ones you have, use the coupon code HAK5 at checkout and you're going to save yourself 15% that way. So, you know, you win. You just won. You can. When you think domain names, think domain.com. All right, before we get out of here, guys, we've got to find out about the technical photo of the week. <laughs> <laughs> My stomach's going. Burr. Okay, <laughs> Adam sends us this photo from Minecraft, and it's this like epic Hack Five brick wall of nice. awesomeness. Very cool. You know, I gotta get into Minecraft. You know, well, I'm a little worried because if I get into Minecraft, I'll like never leave the house. I miss the orange it's like block. Skyrim. We used to run the orange block or or whatever it was. It was like a Lego type of Mamorpaga um, <laughs> in Java. It was Mamorpaga. really slow, but it was a lot of fun. Do you remember the name of that? Oh. Blockland. Blockland. That oh. was so much fun. We should do an episode on that. That and ZZT. If anybody knows what I'm talking about when it comes to ZZT, shoot me an email. All right. <laughs> Technolist photo of the week. Awesomeness. Yeah, you can feedback. send your feedback or your your photos to feedback at hack5.org with the subject line Technolist, so it's easy to find. It's trivia time. Yeah. Last week's trivia question was: Which one of these isn't included in the Jeopardy-winning supercomputer Watson? 120 ter terabytes storage, 16 terabytes RAM, 2880 Power 7 processor cores, or the complete text of Wikipedia? Uh, Jimmy Wales. Jimbo Wales. Okay. No. What? Uh, the answer was 120 terabytes of storage. Dang it. <laughs> All right, this week, what are we doing? What feature introduced in DirectX 11 makes in-game textures appear rounder and better defined? You would pick this. <laughs> Huge tracts of land. 
huge rocks of land. <laughs> it's like in Zelda uh -huh. when you go to the fairy fountain yeah. and the chick has like these huge pixels and now she doesn't because of this. <laughs> huge pixels. Answer at <laughs> hack5.org slash trivia for your chance to win some swag. Jen will send you some good stuff. <laughs> Do you like that? <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> Pixely fairy goodness. <laughs> so... We do value your feedback, of course. If you hate what we're doing at the moment, send us an send email. Send us hate mail. <laughs> feedback at hack5.org. Let us know what you think of the show, what you'd like to see us cover, if you really like the proxy subjects, which we really enjoyed yeah, doing. Yeah, if you get some tips to share, you know, go ahead and email with proxy in the subject line. Also, don't forget, you can always follow the show and everything we do here at Hack5, hack5.org slash follow. You'll find all of our social networks and, you know, all of the other whatnots, you know, like when we're live streaming, we'll get the drop cam going you might find that yeah. stuff there um yeah yeah and your phone's ringing and if you like what we're doing and you want to support us directly we have plenty of cool hacker gadgets we got t-shirts we got duckies and all crazy stuff at hack shop hakshop.com all right without any further ado my phone's ringing so i'm darren kitchen <laughs> i'm shannon morse trust your technologist Well, yeah. Uh, and are you cold? Yeah. Girl. And everything changes. It's like being on LSD, but I wouldn't know that because I've never been on it. Are you sure? Yep. No. Okay. You know, you can probably see somebody about that. <laughs> I think they have a cream for that. <laughs>